Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We've got some breaking news and leaks seemingly out of nowhere. Some information started hitting the interwebs yesterday about new icon cards coming to this game. Yes, guys, for the first time this year, it is leaked that we will be getting the first special versions of icons, the first promo icons coming allegedly this Friday as a part of this insurance promo. We have to talk about that and the potential for the first icon player SBCs of the year because this is reminding us of how that promo went last year. And of course, we're talking about big SBCs. The big player of the month, Puteus, was dropped and the price is expensive. But we also have a pack that's refreshing today on the cheap end of things and UCL football that we need to discuss regarding some market movements of selling in the hype because upgrades are on the line today. So if you're excited for it all, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's start by looking into yesterday's content on a Monday where we didn't really have too much content, but we did have that big SBC Guys, the Alexia Puteas player of the month. The card is exactly as leaked with the Tiki Taka Plus and then the plus one overall boost from her gold card. Still five star, five star. EA did add a roll plus. I think Playmaker Plus in the center attack in mid position they added for her there. But that's the question. Is that small upgrade and the Tiki Taka over the first touch plus from her gold card worth the 1.5 million coin price tag that this SBC requires? 14 squads, by the way. And they didn't really require a lot of higher rated squads, which is going to impact fodder or not impact fodder. We'll talk about that in a second. But for the worth of this SBC, it's not worth it for a lot of people. I know the price is kind of where I was expecting it to be, but that was just based on the thinking that EA never lets these SBCs go by easy, guys. They don't want everybody running around with a Puteus at this stage of the game or for much of the stage of the game at all for that matter the big player SBCs are never super cheap and we're seeing that here with this Puteas card now a lot of people are just saying Nate go buy the gold it's 300k it's almost the same card yeah you're not wrong that's absolutely a point that you could make but I do think a lot of people want this Puteas card for the long haul and I do think that crafting this SBC if it does interest you whether you craft it as soon as possible or since there's it's out for 27 days, you got a long time to do it. You could also wait until the end of the month, which would be Black Friday time. And we all know there's a lot of packs around Black Friday, packs that they're giving us through SBCs and objectives. Maybe a crafting upgrade happens between now and then. You will have ample opportunities, especially if you're playing each week for rewards and stuff. You will have ample opportunities to get this crafted and get it done. It's just going to take a bit of effort, and you're just going to have to be knowing that you're putting in a little bit more fodder than you would really like to, but you're going to get in the end an untradeable card that could be in your team even past team of the year so that's kind of the play with this is the longevity and i think the tiki taka plus bodes well for the longevity of this card as well again 87 there's 587 squads and 586 squads and the highest rated team inside of this is an 88 which gives a mega pack you do get a couple of decent packs back too but that's the thing with this sbc in terms of the fodder aspect of it it didn't make the high rated fodder rise that much. It really didn't make fodder rise too much on any level because this SPC doesn't have a ton of demand. 85s are still, actually they're down a little bit, under 7K right now, 6.5K. 86s are right around 10 and a half, 11. 87, still 15. Your high rated fodder really is unchanged. The 89s, 25. The 90 rateds are 32K. Actually, those are down a little. And Rodri's at 41. So fodder's just kind of staying the same because there's not that many people just sprinting out to buy it for this potato. SBC. I think one thing EA could have done to maybe seem make this seem a little more enticing to a lot of us is take off four of those squad requirements. Imagine 10 segments for Puteus. And instead of having a couple of these 86 and 87s, if they just would have added a couple of 88s or maybe even an 89 at the end, I know I'm saying that as investing, someone who's invested in high rated fodder would like that to go up for sure. But also I think 14 squads seems a bit daunting, even with the price. If it's 10 squads and maybe the price is almost the same, maybe it would be a little bit seemingly more worthwhile, but it is expensive nonetheless. But if it's somebody you want from your team, do not let me stop you because that is a card that is a big enough name player, kind of like the Mbappe and the Vinny that we've mentioned before with these player of the months, that that could stay in your team for a really long time. She is going to be just different in game and a great card. Now, of course, the gold card and her other promo card, the Total Rush, have been going up. You can see the spike. She was 305 right of content. Boom. She went up to like 360 actually. And she's now hanging around 340,000 coins as a lot of people are just going and buying her card off of the market. Same thing with this version. She was down under 1.5 mil in the 1.4s, rebounded all the way back to the 1.6 range where she is at the moment. And... 
people are doing this SBC and, and using Puteus right now. Look at some of these other Liga F links, especially Graham Hansen. Graham Hansen was 1.4 early yesterday morning, rose all the way now where she is in the 1.7 range. So you've got some links, and you've got some players that are going up. Even Hansen's gold card is up a lot too. So it's a mixed bag with this Puteus SBC. Kind of just have to make the decision for yourself. You can either do it now, or you can wait. It's out 27 days. A lot of time to craft, but it is for sure a big undertaking now the other sbc we had yesterday is the 81 plus combo upgrade which was expected we mentioned in yesterday's video as well this is the best upgrade pack that we've had this year and i like that ea actually made it cheaper only five rares needed and 10 golds in total they added one of those locked segments in here so you don't need to put a player in there and it gives you an 81 guaranteed and a 77 guaranteed the first one of these that i opened actually i had a rogery and a ben white so a 91 and an 84 in the same pack that was really crazy i had some good luck with these yesterday I don't imagine that it's always going to be good luck with these upgrade packs, but just send a little bit, right, from your club. If you got some extra stuff from Rivals Rewards, Squad Battles, some extra gold commons and gold rares hanging around, even in your dupe storage, it's worth testing a few of those because you never know. You might snag a walkout. You might snag even like a fodder Trailblazers promo card, which wouldn't be bad, right? So I would just say at least test a few of those. It's always worth testing new upgrade packs just a little bit. That was all the content on the game yesterday, but we did have the beginnings of some news on Twitter, and this isn't really a leak, but I don't know if EA has officially posted the pitch notes for this yet on their FC Direct account, but there was the Trello link, Trello board link going around with all the changes that is coming in a FC 25 patch. This would be title update number four, I believe. And this, once again, the last title update was members. Such an exhaustive list of reasons and things that they were updating and changing. This one as well is a huge list, and some of the things are good, but they also seem very small. This update doesn't seem to be doing big things like nerfing a sprint boost or anything crazy like that. It's like fixing the roll plus pluses little uh, circles that are around the player at the start of the game for pretty long and kind of too long. They got annoying, right? That's a W. Improving some of the AI logic and just a lot of really little things, gameplay related and stuff related to the menus as well. Which is nice, but it just, I see that long list and I just think, why was this stuff a problem to begin with? What, like, is this not fixed at all when the game is put out at the start? It's like, is this an unfinished game? That's just kind of how it makes you feel, right? It's like you see all these changes a month and a half into the game and you're like, wow, this really feels like, I know everybody's making jokes that like we're just playing the beta version. Last year that was a joke, this year it's a joke again. It's kind of crazy. Now, the one thing I will mention with this is gameplay always changes even though there's not a lot of changes listed there for gameplay it just feels different after a patch so we'll have to see what changes we'll have to see what goes on with that but i would believe that that would be out later this week if they're posting title update notes for that that is something to be watching now let's talk about the market a little bit too because yesterday on monday was once again another really good day to trade and i want to highlight this so that we remember it for next monday and maybe even next sunday night when we're looking at prices that are maybe down because of another icon pack or something coming out right i bought some cards and they went up very nicely out of pack special cards and the meta like this Delo bought one at 217 on bid bought one at 220 went back up to 245k even with a leak of a premier league left back incoming Rafa Leal was a card that I wish I would have picked up more of as an out-of-pack special card and a gold. Um, not, he's not out-of-pack special card, but kind of mixing those two together. This card went from 304k all the way, even peaked to 360. That's a crazy price. Definitely because of the links to the Nuno Tavares and how hyped he is in the objective section right there. But then a lot of these other promo cards, Gabriel, I bought at 320. He went up to 350,000 coins. You guys know I love trading with total rush cards. The Tamori, I had one of him. The Guerrero, I traded with once again. I mean, every single day almost, I'm trading with Trent. Trent's up big right now again 370,000 coins the mark the market rose really nice yesterday if we take a look at Trent's graph 320 this is where I bought him right here all the way just rising all the way up now he's even higher than he went he was 362 on this graph he's now 370,000 coins so we're kind of back to what the market has done on Mondays in the past two to three weeks not last week but two weeks ago and three weeks ago the market had some really really nice rises and it looks like that's continuing so that is just one mental note to mention and to think about is that Sunday nights look like good times to buy cards still. Um, even after the big market crash that we had, some prices have rebounded very, very nice. And it was a great time to be trading. Now, let's kind of turn the conversation into today on Tuesday. Because speaking of market-related things, 
these cards. Road to the Knockouts are once again on the forefront of our minds, especially for those of you who have invested because today we have another match day, match week of Champions League football. And that means upgrades are on the line. We love this because it means market fluctuations and it means also taking the money on some of the investments that we made maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago when the, these last games were played before these new ones. This is a card that I'm seriously watching today, right? Julian Brandt, we mentioned this after the loss to Madrid, right? We looked at this card and I was thinking this is going to be a really good investment. Two weeks ago, we went from 55k all the way down to 47 and he's been slowly rising ever since. And I think he's getting near his peak. Now, this is the situation with this card, right? Dortmund plays Sturm Graz today. They're heavily favored, heavily expected to win. And with a win and scoring a goal, which would go together, of course, this card goes to an 89 rated. He would get a plus two because that's two upgrades checked off at the same time. And he'd also get a roll plus plus because that is what the second upgrade gives. Just to, to remind you guys of that, the score one plus goal in four different games gives you a plus one overall and a roll plus plus. So for some of the players scoring that fourth in that fourth game is obtainable today since this is the fourth week of these games so far and that means double upgrades on the line or single upgrades too right some players have already gotten upgrades they could get another one or maybe just getting the score and the win hasn't come yet for some of the upgrades but selling in the hype especially with this card i think is going to be the key you see me looking at frim pong as well frim pong is another card who's on the verge of a double upgrade i picked him up at 750 he's a little bit undercut right now but if you look at his tracker same thing, two of three and three of four. Now they play Liverpool today, so it's going to be a really, really big game. Um, they may not be favored, but there's still a chance. But these are cards, guys, I want to talk about this because, like Brandt for sure, if he gets the upgrade and goes plus two and gets the roll plus plus, is he really going to be worth 64K? Could he go up some more today? He could. But here's the thing that I worry about, right? When, the, when it comes to these cards that are very cheap, very invested in, a lot of people have bought these cards once they get the upgrade and there's really nothing else for them to obtain, finishing top two in this, the league, this third and final upgrade that is still looming out there, that is so far away. Like that's not going to be known or obtainable until January. You want to sell off of these road to the knockout cards. You want to be getting out of them, in my opinion, by the time they are getting towards that second upgrade especially if it's going to be today, just because I think that's such a long gap for a guy like Julian Brandt to know if he's going to get that third and final upgrade, which really isn't even that insane, right? I don't know. That's just kind of my take. I think once the upgrades start to fall off and there's no more chase there, if you think about it, there's no more upgrade potential that a card is chasing that people are excited for, for the, oh, what if this card could look insane, right? I think you want to sell in the hype for those cards. So that's my uh, sell in the hype spiel for today. I always talk about selling in the hype when it comes to live cards. Just use the footbin tracker to go through and look at some of these cards. Even VVD, like all they have to do, they've already got the win. He already got upgraded, right? If Liverpool score today, he goes to a 93 and gets a roll plus plus. But like 4.1 mil is crazy. Like, I mean, this card was 2.8 mil just a couple of weeks ago. I know it's the best center back in the game, one of the best center backs in the game, but that's getting pretty crazy, guys. So even a card like this, I would consider selling in the hype. So whatever card you're watching today, like if, if Madrid win against Milan, Bellingham goes up plus one. He would go to a 92 because that would be their third win. Use the footprint tracker to kind of look at your card, but especially if it's lower rated and especially if they're favored, right? Take the money before the game today, especially because one of the next games, the next games are at the end of the month, man. We have such a long wait between these champions of the games. It's it's they're 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 just bound to drop in price in my opinion. So that's my talk on those cards. Let's talk about the leaks, guys. Let's get into the real news. What we came here for today in the video, talking about these special icons because like we've looked at so far this year, icons have been so expensive. They've been so inflated, and a lot of these cards have just gone up and up and up as everybody has a lot of coins from the weekend league rewards and the way they're set up this year we just looked at one card right there who's going to be getting a new card soon all of a sudden yesterday there started to be tweets popping on twitter on x about icons being added to the code for centurions which we believe is the next promo or at least a promo coming really soon number one because of these leaks number two because of the centurions design that is in the season pass with the emmy martinez Grealish, and malin but we have like the whole team of icons leaked for centurions now guys there's like what is it 12 cards something like that i want to show you guys all of these leaks because this looks like 
it has opportunity. It has opportunity to be good. Now, Beckham is added to come as one of the first leaks for a Centurions icon player. We don't know if it's going to be SBC or in the promo team, guys. But based off of how last year's Centurions promo worked, there were icons in packs and regular players in packs at the same time time maybe you guys remember these icons right you've got Pirlo he was an SBC he was crazy the vintage SBC was crazy Eusebio how could we forget about that card he was in packs and then an SBC later on but even the Makalele the Cole the Rooney was pretty nuts the Kumin all these cards had play style pluses of course as icons they all had that but I think maybe if I remember correctly some of them had changed as well from they were different from their uh, regular base cards that may not be true for every single one of them but I thought that a couple of them changed. Maybe not. But these were the one of the first special icons of the year last year. And this year, they are set to be the first. So Julie Foudy is a new icon. She's getting a new version uh, coming this Friday. We believe it would be this Friday as well uh, for um, a Centurions icon card. Now, it's not really impacting the market a ton just yet. Because I think these leaks were kind of just a shock. But if you have this David Beckham card... I would sell it. He's already down a little bit, not much. He's down like really just 10,000 coins, and he was down further yesterday. He was like 530, 540K last couple of days, 520, dropped down after this leak to like 500. Usually what we see when we have promo icons like this leaked is that the new version comes on the market, and the promo icons are, even though this seems crazy, promo icons are more packable than regular base icons. Whenever somebody gets a promo card, for an icon, their base card always tanks because the pack weights were just way different for promo icons. We've seen this now for the last two years in this game that there have been promo icons in the game. Be careful with David Beckham. I would imagine this card price just drops throughout the rest of the week as people realize this. Same things for uh, Foudy and the other icons that are leaked, like Eusebio. Eusebio is another card that is leaked. Everybody's like, yo, EA, run it back from last year, of course, with the Eusebio SBC being so cracked. Everybody wants to have that again this year. Will it be too good to be true? We'll have to see. But we have the whole team leaked, guys. Ribery is another one that is coming. We just looked at him on the game. That's a card that I would be like... Ribery's really expensive. He's 1.7 million coins right now. His price has been going up because of the French icon links. That will be a card. His new one might be like 2.5 mil. But you probably still want to sell this one in the hype. You never know. Like with these icons, you never know when there's promo icons coming out. Especially for the lower tier ones though. Like a David Beckham who's mid to lower tier. A Nedved. A Verone. A Crespo. Campbell. Campbell's icon card is like what? four, three, four hundred k or something like that? That's going to be an insane center back item. Schweinsteiger is going to be pretty crazy as well. You've got Vandersar. You've got Van Nisselrooy in here as well. You've got Laudrup, Beckham. There was another uh, post that was going around as well. I think it was at ASY who posted like the full team. Yeah, this was a full team. This graphic didn't look as visually appeasing. You've got Vandersar in here too. Uh, you've got, let's see, Verone, Zambrata, Crespo, and Van Nisselrooy there again. Actually, was this a leak? Maybe, maybe Eusebio is not a leak, guys. This might actually take down with a pinch of salt. He might not be a leak. That just might be a hope because of the fact that there was the SBC last year. But looking at this team of icons, it needs a Eusebio, actually. Um, and it needs a Eusebio in here to make it look good. So maybe the Eusebio is not an actual leak of a card that is coming. But, uh, guys, one thing is you would expect to see an SBC out of this set of players that has been leaked because if you take a look at last year's team once again three of them were SBCs one was in packs originally sorry cold was also so four of them ended up being SBCs Eusebio, Cole, Vidic, and Pirlo I think were the SBCs that were eventually released um, you know in its recent time around the time of that promo so this is really just going to start to change the landscape about icons in this game. The base versions for anything that was leaked, you would probably want to sell it. And it, again, I just think that with these cards being promo icons, like we've seen in the past, their pack weight just ends up being higher, which means that the base versions drop lower and it makes these new versions more hyped. And hopefully, I know we talked about SBC again just a minute ago, but... I really hope we see our first Icon SBC of the year with this Centurions car design. Maybe EA has been waiting this whole year to drop an Icon player SBC until we had special promo icons. I don't know why, because I think last year, what, the rumor is we had three or four Icon SBCs by this time in November, last year in FC24, and we still haven't had one yet. So hopefully this is just the start of, uh, of that, and hopefully we do have more 
in the SBC section for the Icon players, or the start of that at least, because it's been very, very quiet so far. Now, there also should be the normal Centurions, as we've talked about too, right? Like, of course, if you go to the, the objectives and you see who's in the season pass, we should be getting... A, a normal team of promo cards as well. Like we have the Martinez and all these cards. This is the regular Centurions design, right? This is season two Centurions. So maybe this is a two week promo. We don't know yet. We're still kind of watching the leaks to learn a little bit more about that. Um, but we should have a team of these players as well as all the icons and packs too. And one of the reasons I think that the icons get leaked earlier than the regular players in terms of this promo team is, and for any promo team in the future, as we'll see with icon cards, is that every single one of these icons has like that info page, right? Um, I think one of the reasons they get leaked earlier is that they have those info write-ups about these cards and maybe it's just easier to tell however the leakers get their information that icons are coming so it was, it was like crazy yesterday like we went from having one or two icons leaked and i was like oh shoot this is getting legit like we're having promo cards leaked for friday and then all of a sudden we have the whole entire team or expected team of icons coming into packs this friday for the centurions promo so that's kind of all the news and information there uh that's big info that's really really big info and i really 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 hope that it starts to impact sbcs because we need an SBC like that in this game for sure. Now let's talk about Tuesday content today. What else to be expecting leak-wise, but also content-wise. I would expect to see the weekly rush objectives resetting today. Those usually come out on Tuesdays. I don't know why it expired yesterday. That's really weird. But I would expect that to see uh, that come back out today. Allegedly, this is still glitched. EA have not fixed this objective for Trailblazers versus Team of the Week. So it's making that rush mode the one to play at the moment if you're trying to get rush points as well. Most people have it done, so it's not as crazy in terms of people quitting out. But that is still kind of going on there. So watch out for the rush points. Just a few more easy packs to be able to get. And then always on Tuesdays, we talk about upgrade packs, right? Mondays give us kind of the repeatable one. Tuesday gives us the one time repeatable, maybe refreshing a couple days later. Last week we had the 83 times three pack that was released, maybe something like that, or that exact same one coming back today. Of course, 82 to 84 rated golds, and maybe a team of the week would be required for that. I think team of the weeks are slowly starting to rise. I mean, high rated fodder is not rising, but at least team of the weeks are right now because they're being required a ton. Are these like 13K? Okay, I'm pretty sure Team of the Weeks were like minimum 13k at some point yesterday. They are basically 13,000 coins right now, and EA keeps requiring them every day. So that's something to watch out for because we could get a new upgrade pack today. And I do believe as well the uh, RTTK slash Rush Party Bank pack refreshes yet again. This SBC is about to refresh, I believe, for the fourth time, if that's correct, because um, that was released last week. The fourth time we've had the party bag refresh, which is crazy. I've done it all four times, and it's been kind of fun to do just because it's so cheap. So this one, I think, requires an inform as well, and uh, that's going to refresh today too. So more information or more demand, really, for those cards there. Now, let's talk about information regarding maybe today's SBC player. We've got two different options for who it could be. First of all, we have an Andy Robertson SBC coming as a moments card. Stats here are predicted. The problem with Andy Robertson all the time in this game is his pace. He has 78 pace on his gold item. If EA give him a pace boost, maybe give him a good playstyle plus like whipped pass or maybe a defensive one like a jockey or intercept or anticipate or something like that. This could actually be a really, really good card. And it could be a Premier League left back that a lot of people want to go and end up doing. So at the moment, what I would tell you to do is be very careful with Premier League left backs. You saw some panic selling yesterday on a guy specifically like Anthony Robinson because his Trailblazer card right now is still one of the best Prem left backs in the game. He was down at like 95K. He's back up right now. I would imagine that he would drop some more today on this game just in the hype of Robertson potentially being released. We don't know what day he's going to be put out. It's a moments SBC, so it seems like a random one-off not related to the current Trailblazers promo situation, but that leak is out. And then also we have a showdown SBC leak for a game that is upcoming this next weekend, Darmian and Politano, right? We had the showdown SBC for Ugarte and Caicedo. Those cards were updated one day after the game, which happened on Sunday. This game happens this coming Sunday. So we'll be watching very closely for a Serie A showdown between Inter and Napoli, which could be cards that go straight into our team. Darmian had a crazy, crazy showdown card. Was it last year? Politano has had some really meta cards as well. These could fit straight into some of our teams at the moment with the Serie A link still going very strong. 
Same thing with Napoli and Interlinks both. So I would watch out for those either today or in the next couple of days for those showdowns. So it's kind of the Robertson and then those showdown SBCs as what is leaked at this moment. There is one last thing to talk about regarding leaks. It's these Trackstar cards. Um, this seems like a separate promo, but it's also going to include heroes because there's a track stars hero, really random name. Not sure how, is it all about pace track stars? You think of pace? I don't know. Really curious to see how, what this is and how long down the road it's going to be because centurions track stars, black Friday. Like we thought centurions would be a two week promo. Maybe it's only a one week promo, but, uh, we're not that far away. If you think about a promo Friday, this Friday, we've got one, two, three, we got four weeks from this friday four weeks until black friday so that card design could be related to a promo that comes between now and then i mean you would think so there's enough time for it so we'll have to see but that's kind of the first leak for that again it was just a wild day of leaks yesterday to be honest with the icons coming out kind of made the day be a little more exciting compared to what it looked like it was going to shape up to be with just uh the content of puteus and an upgrade pack. But of course, we're still walking, watching the market, watching some trades, and we'll have some more action today. We'll just have to see if it is a Centurion's promo that is upcoming this Friday, which it very much so looks like. Definitely be careful in the icon cards, and we'll have to watch out for the rest of the leaks as to who's in the regular team of the Centurion's promo. But it was not really what I was expecting to talk about today, guys. It's always massive when you have icon promo cards and packs. I know I mentioned it before, but it's just different icons are way more packable we've seen it year over year i know this year right the pack weight's been absolutely atrocious on the promo cards it's not going to be great for those either but it's believable at least when you see the cards in the market and you see their prices that's why you want to be very careful with their base icons but that's kind of uh the information there and i wanted to really bring that to you guys today because that's really really important stuff so that's kind of everything that we needed to cover watch out for those sbcs today and watch out of course for selling in the hype with road to the knockout cards i saw this from pong going to be selling him in the hype today before the liverpool match so i don't have to worry about his price dropping too much. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. That link's down below in the description. It's been Nathan for the count. See you there. Peace out.